the truth. And without truth, there can be no justice. What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! Who even are you? I think you know. You're Richard's puppet. <laughs> you think Richard is in charge? Now here's a funky introduction to how nice I am. Tell your mother, tell your father, send a telegram. I'm like an energizer. No! Oh! Are you okay? I'm okay. What the hell is that? I don't know. Save one now. Well, Bill doesn't want a lot of drama because he knows that it's his daughter's big day. Technically, he's still married. Oh, so you're what, a side piece? He's almost divorced. Oh, so you to jump off. <laughs> uh, what's a jump off? Don't ask that. The ritual is an ancient art, simple or intricate, sacred or profane, time-worn or brand new. Every ritual is a marker in time. It is a recognition of the past and an offering to future generations. The character of George Jefferson was a rich black man who was unapologetic about that. And that was very, very groundbreaking in the 1970s. George Jefferson with the walk out the bank move. Hit the clip. That's how I walk out the bank when I make withdrawals. Are you here for me? So this here, you, we go in our backyard and get them. Wow. These are very potent. The smell turns, you know, a lot of people off. They don't like it? They don't like it. Let me smell a little bit. Mmm. Three women, three pregnancies, one journey to understand exactly what scares them about hospitals. Yo, what's to your pop, Mitchell? Kiss my ass. Ain't nobody been that low. Drake, the cute little friendship puppy with the dislocated growth plate is proven. Back in for laser therapy. It's gonna make you feel good. This I know for sure. Black men, just like with Courtney, mm. who have come to therapy with me over all of these years, they never stop talking. Mm. Once they find that there is safety. There's safe, I was gonna say safe. Yeah. It came to the point that the women was drawing the bigger crowd than the men. The roles switched, and it was like, whoa, all these fans here to see us. What I've learned is that the need to be exceptional, that I can have a different kind of relationship with it, right? That it doesn't have to be a perfectionism that debilitates me, that now I can try to channel it into ambition, but still be kind to myself along the way.